visible my screen yes madam hi my name is, i am vijay lakshmi my topic is deactivate user and freeze user what is user a user is a, anyone who log, logs into salesforce every user in salesforce has a user account profiles are collection of settings and permissions uh, what a user can do can define profiles can by users job function then profile define how users access object objects Hello, and data one minute, Hello, one minute. Slide not your slide is not changed still you are seeing only first slide mm, now it is changed You can go ahead, Marina. Okay. Uh, what is a user? You, a user is anyone who logs into Salesforce. Every user is a Salesforce has a user account. Profiles are collection of settings and permissions of what a user can do. You can define define profiles by users job functions. Profiles define how users access objects and data and what they can do within the application. When When you create users, you assign a profile to each one. Before that, must be aware of user record. Cannot be deleted from Salesforce organization. After a long, there is an ID, but after a long, we can't delete user record from Salesforce organization. Once user is created, record cannot be deleted. In that situation, we have to use options freezer user and deactivate users. Difference between freezer, freezer, freeze user, and deactivate user. Here, freeze user is temporarily disable the account, good for returning users. Then deactivate user is the suspend the user account entirely, and they are not returning the users. Freezing user is a Salesforce means that only stops the user from being able to log in. In some cases. if you want immediately deactivate user such as whenever whenever when when a user is selected in a custom hierarchical field or user that has signed as a sole recipient of workflow email alert in that in that deactivation removes the user login access but it preserves all historical activities and activity and records making it easy to transfer ownership to other user and situation where changing ownership to the other users must be done before the deactivation then navigation to the freeze user from setup enter users in the quick find box then select user click the username of the account if you want to freeze click freeze to block access to the account or unfreeze to allow access to the account again then deactivate user from setup in the quick find box enter users then select users click edit next to users name deselect the activate check box and then click save freezing user is a user account will account will temporarily prevent a user from logging the example example during a maintenance window or if configuration prevents user deactivation frozen user are still active but they can't log in marking the user as inactive completely revokes access and recovers the license that user was assigned a deactivate user does not count against the user organizations available user license deactivated user lost access access to any records that were manually shared directly with them are implicitly shared with them as team members thank you so everyone understands sir what madam is saying the difference between uh, deactivate user and the freeze the user yes sir tell me sir someone can what uh, you want to do um, anyone Freeze user means we can temporarily disable a user, but it means that employees not all working. We can deactivate that. 
So your voice is clear, uh, not clear, uh, madam. Your voice is breaking, madam. And once the user is created, we only press on the. Yeah. So deactivate user means so. Um, so that user uh, com completely uh, deactivated. So we can use that user license for other users also. Okay, and we are removing from complete from the system. Okay. So in case if comes to the freeze the user. Okay. The only user cannot log into Salesforce, but whatever the user is having uh, some activities called in the role hierarchy and uh, workflow, we are using anywhere that user, any other place, if we, that functionality will work as it is. Till we can move that all these reports to other persons. Okay. So that is the main difference between freeze the user and the deactivate the user. Okay. Thank you, madam. Good presentation.